You see my screen? Uh-oh. Really? Okay. <laughs> of the entire show. It's se he second is, as a personal favorite. He is my second favorite character in this entire show. In the entire series. All a thousand episodes. Bon Clay, Mr. Two. Welcome back to Will Descry. We are really excited to get going. We have a, a brand new arc ahead of us. Um, I just got back from Mexico. It was a great trip. Um, we obviously wanted to hit the uh, the Christmas special. Unfortunately, we, we just had some technical difficulties, so we weren't able to get it up. Maybe one day we can get it going, but it was a very special moment watching the, the whole scene with the, the soccer cherry blossoms unfold with Chopper. Um, personally, I remembered that arc not being one of my favorites and revisiting it with Scryerman and talking through all the scenes and again, wish you guys could see it, but um, maybe we'll get it fixed out uh, eventually. But rewatching it evoked a whole new um, reaction for me. What, what were your thoughts, Matt? Oh, it was, it was magic. It was <laughs> beginning to end. Uh, got a lot of backstory and uh, Chopper. I knew nothing about him other than his marketing. So yeah. um, it was nice to get an unexpectedly deep backstory for him. Because now you've had two arcs that you were uh, kind of surprised yeah, about. Back to yeah. back, back to yeah. back. Uh, yeah, and Nani Arlong and ben Chopper both got me. So yep, uh, plenty more to come. Alabasta is definitely a stark difference, and I think highlights as you can see. Um, obviously, there's no spoilers, <laughs> but Scryman is able to see the background that we have here, and it's Alab Alabasta centric. Um, stark difference from the, the snowy wonderland that we were just visiting, um, just a week or so ago, huh? Yeah. Yeah. A little, uh, change of pace. Well, yep. cause I've been, uh, I've been freezing here in Canada <laughs> while you're in, uh, Mexico. So this will yeah. be a nice, uh, sunny trip for me. I got my tan ready for the, for the arc. So with that said, I think we can jump right in. So the last thing that happened Let's is they were departing Drum Island. I think that's actually the, the name of the episode title here. Um, and we're about to hit the sea on the way to finally reaching Vivi's homeland. So with that said, let's get her going. A little bit of a change of what you guys are familiar with. We're actually proceeding without audio. There's been way too many issues that we've been facing and we kind of looked around saw that the the streaming reacting landscape a lot of reactors don't even use audio especially when you're using an external source like um how we're kind of radioing each other into the same form it just made it very complicated so with that said if there's an important um scene that involves music or audio the benefit of having me is I'm familiar with all those scenes. We'll make sure that we include that in the videos so that Scryerman is reacting to it in real time. But with that said, here's the opening. We, we're still jamming out to the theme for our own purposes. Yeah. <laughs> every every bit. We may not cut it in every single time, but it's very important for, for the two of us. Set the mood. Audience aside, yeah, to get us back into it. Openings are so important in my mind. In fact... Get I'm going to be shooting a video soon with my reaction of all the openings and I'm going to rank them, um, which Skyrimin is forbidden. I can't watch I'm, gonna... it. Um, I'm assuming Chopper is going to be cut in next episode intro, but we'll see. That's a good thought. <laughs> yeah, Usopp and Vivi don't even know who he is. Mm -hmm. He's got and a lot Zorro. of process. Mm -hmm. That's intense. I've had that feeling before.
<laughs> That's how they found him. Oh, yeah. Underrated ability of Chopper. <laughs> Translator. Mm-hmm. Luffy didn't even know. <laughs> he did. Yeah, because he didn't listen to Eddie. <laughs> yeah, he just wanted him on the crew. He wanted to eat him. She already packed it all for him. I think she needed him as much as he needed her. Think about it. She was always lonely, right? She's 136. Yeah. I want to know what her and the doctor's backstory were, too. I feel like there was something mm -hmm. yeah. going on there at some point. Potentially. Nami's the only one. Well, he's like... just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chopper's having like the deepest emotional, <laughs> the yeah. deepest emotional moments of his life, and everyone around him is just screaming. No, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's never drank alcohol or anything either, and Usopp's just stuffing it down his throat. He's <laughs> <laughs> even drinking age. I'm afraid no. for a pirate. Yeah. Oh, this is sick. That we're seeing Mary Joyce way back in the day. Wow. This is his flashback, huh? Oh, so that was Wapple's dad? Mm -mm. Someone else's dad that you know. Uh Oh. Do you recognize that guy? He was the one who saved Luffy. To peg him. He's the one who saved Luffy in Loketown. When Smoker was going to kill him. And and Buggy. Oh, the, the hooded guy. Mm-hmm. Nefertari Cobra. Who's the other Nefertari, you know? No idea. <laughs> there you go. Uh -huh.
Remember? He kind of recognized her right off the bat, but couldn't pinpoint where when they first <laughs> arrived in Drum Island. Yeah. So he gained his respect way back then. When did this happen? A week ago. They're three days. I forgot. Are you ready? <laughs> oh. Shit. <laughs> Above Shanks. Yeah. Number four. And that, um, could you go over the criteria for your list again? Is this personal favorites, power level? Um... This is. These are my favorite non-crew members. So outside of the Straw Hat crew of the entire show, this is my top fifty or top twenty, top fifteen list of non. Aces four. Okay. And aces four. All right, we're going back in. This is going to be an intense two episodes of reveals. So heads up. <laughs> okay. It... Little hint. Is that what he's called these days? Gold Roger? <laughs> That's what I was like. Is that a trend uh, sub error? But... Uh, okay. <laughs> the Japan, <laughs> things you were saying on the Japan trip starting to make a little more sense. For the viewers who haven't watched the trailer, I have a tattoo down my back, down my spine, saying Will of D. That's another thing. Choppers never had warmth before, just you know? That. Yeah. Never what had what? Warmth. A warmth. Yeah. It's always cold. Never been to sea. <laughs> Big eagle. <laughs> yeah, Chopper's gonna have no sense of like actual danger because he thinks yeah. it's all a touch. <laughs> He's always getting captured by birds, I noticed. <laughs> in the first Leg of the series. Yeah, that, that's like the first step of the cards, right? <laughs> They're playing cards. Yeah, it happens every week. <laughs> yeah. Did he say he wanted our help? <laughs> no. There's food for the next month.
Easier said than done, Luffy, my boy. <laughs> Think of him as like um like a godfather, right? Like he runs a criminal organization of like ten thousand people, you know? And, but and he's a warlord. Um, and yeah. remember, the other warlord you've met so far is Mihawk. Publicly, like the public loves him, right? Yeah. They obviously don't know he's Mr. Zero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Look, 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 from the corner of my eye. Yeah. <laughs> Those two, aren't they gone? Yeah. Thought you broke their necks or something? Literally snapped them. They have 1,800 agents? Get my French lesson in. <laughs> this is the guy who doesn't have a partner. Do you remember Crocodile ordered someone to assassinate Mr. Three? Mm-hmm. That was the guy? Mm-hmm. And he said if he doesn't pull it off, then Mr. One will come kill him. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Three's the candle guy, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And you've seen her before, Miss All Sunday. <clears throat> mm-hmm. She's the partner of Crocodile. Yeah, she's my favorite day of the week. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. I like that he has his own theme. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's weird. You ready for part two of this episode? So, uh, I want to see the... Uh, have we seen Crocodile's face? We saw his... Kind of a silhouette oh. right there. Yeah. That was the closest one that we just saw in that last episode. That was pretty clear. It was clear yeah. enough that I like. It was no, clear enough. Look like an actual crocodile. Yeah. 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 He doesn't look like a crocodile. You're correct. All right. Jumping into episode 92. Let's go. Apple pig pirates. <laughs> that is the ugliest flag I've ever seen. <laughs> Yeah, little pig <laughs> <laughs> with a leaf on its head. Storm in Bethlehem. No, Chopper's pirate flag is my favorite so far. I'm okay. gonna keep track of those. Respect. A lot of meaning behind it. Asking you shall receive, Mr. Scryerman. Oh, so this guy's like Homelander. If anyone's seen the boys. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is the guy with the biggest pirate aesthetic. Oh, the through the back. I thought he... <laughs> Your face just got so serious. Like a sandstorm. <laughs> There's a reason he has his eyes on this country. And why he resides here. I'm wondering what it is. Can he control the wind? Can he control sand? directly <laughs> whoa we turned them into like mummies yeah <laughs> we, like took all the hydration out of their bodies with the sand somehow <laughs> precisely to me that is like that and getting buried alive would be the worst ways to die in my opinion yeah, at least it was quick. These guys are like, I drove here all the way here for nothing. Yeah. Literally. See, even even the king thinks he's a good person. And Vivi just has no way to contact Vivi's him. Vivi's his daughter, right? Yep. And she only found out by going rogue nice. under his, like, his rogue. organization, you know? Right. <laughs> well, he's like a dog who's, like, just yeah. chewing on something he shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> large rat <Heart>. trap. <laughs> I love how his smoke was like little hearts when he's. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Chopper loves his bread, man. Yeah. Really. <laughs> I love how the duck is fishing. <laughs> 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 My God, seriously. The Northern Lights. <laughs> so they just can't see each other. <laughs> It's not even like that big. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> I Big mystical parallel universe. Like, 
to mention things. <laughs> nope. <Did> to know. <laughs> Hope you can swim. She recognized them, but yeah, she was like squinting. She wasn't sure. Swan, swan fruit. Who <laughs> stops face? This guy's the Captain Ginyu of One Piece. Mm -hmm. uh, why would you ever want to be Usopp, though? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't have to actually touch their face, I guess? He has no, to touch it with his left his hand, face. yeah. But he didn't touch the other people's face. Yeah, he did. He touched all of them. Oh. You see that face? He just mm -hmm. did? I wonder if that's going to come into play. Hmm. If I was Vivi, I'd be freaking out. <laughs> she is. <laughs> They're best friends. <laughs> I hope they stay amicable. Oh no, he's gone. <laughs> he's like, fuck. You <laughs> <laughs> saw finally met someone who wanted to be him for a half second. <laughs> Friendship has nothing to do with each other. <laughs> has nothing to do with how long <laughs> you know each other. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> They're all crying. I feel like that was genuine <laughs> for all of them. <laughs> yeah. Until now. <laughs> yeah. Is Neferati like like Egyptian king? Kind of, yeah. That's that's her last name, her surname. Mm.
What they do with the birds? <laughs> they ate it all. That's a catfish. Yeah. Is that considered a sea king or is it like no? No. Stops going down, music. Ah. It kind of looks cool to have a fleet. This is really important. Important plot point. Sanji was in the back, so he had no idea who Bon Clay was. He didn't see him. That's Mr. Two? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know Chopper's other forms, and he doesn't know Sanji. Yep, correct. Sign of their friendships. <laughs> to a restaurant. <laughs> Someone's losing their cloth. <laughs> All right. Scryerman. Well. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, I'm ready. Viewers, I have, uh... are you ready? This is probably my biggest reveal up there of our entire series. Okay. I'll sit back a little bit. Get, get ready for this. I was expecting some payoff in like 10 episodes from that setup, but let's see what happens. You ready? You see my screen? Uh-oh. Really? Okay. <laughs> of the entire show. It's set, second is, as a personal favorite. He is my second favorite character in this entire show. In the entire series. All a thousand episodes. Bon Clay. Mr. Two. That that little friendship bit got you good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he broke. He got you too. <laughs> cool. So in in the last two episodes, you've had two of my top five revealed, just like that. That's nuts. Alabasta is early on in the series, but sets up so much for the rest of the series of the show, in my opinion. All right, well, you did stress its importance, and I wasn't sure why so <laughs> i like yep. i flabbergasted well, up but i like i like that you 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 took this calmly you know i like I, that you were like 
Okay. I don't think I would have maybe like 80 episodes ago. Yep. Um, yep. But I've, I've learned to just kind of like <laughs> not uh, expect anything from yep. any character at face value. Yep. <laughs> so like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm completely desensitized <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> to your list, to be honest. <laughs> it's, it's like, It'll be like a very top response. Cool. So that was episode ninety one and ninety two. Um, I think I think that tops it off, right? That that is that's our, our that's our little chunk for today. Our first chunk of Alabasta. Well, I am Kirk T. Cam. I'm Scryerman. And this is Will Descry. Looking forward to seeing you guys next time. <laughs>